So back in 2007, I saw Inc. Magazine. I saw one of our favorite entrepreneurs on the cover of that magazine. And there was a vision stated about going to Mars and doing all these amazing things. And as a business owner and somebody who'd been through crazy stuff, I was like, you know what? Like, I want to do work for that person, right? I want to do work for this person. And I had experience because I was doing so much titanium in the subsea industry. I had a crazy contract, right? That I talked about in those earlier vlogs. I had this crazy contract where I was making all of these titanium parts. I had big horizontals on the floor. And as I saw these different rocket companies coming up, I was like, who's qualified to actually make those titanium parts? We are because we machine titanium all day long, right? But I wasn't AS9100, I wasn't even ISO, and I was like, you know, how do I get in? But I was determined to get into that company. So I actually wrote a letter to this certain entrepreneur, and I basically told them about my company. I put pictures of the titanium parts and basically put my vision down in paper, put it into an envelope, had my wife kiss it, we prayed over it and I sent it and didn't hear anything. A week later, I reprinted it, redated it, put everything in, prayed over it, sent it, didn't hear anything. This is where determination comes in, right? I could truly see the vision of the company and I could see the longevity. And as a business owner, I believed in that vision and I understood that I needed to attach myself to it. And as we know, nothing in this world that is great comes easy. So literally on a weekly basis, I started sending out those letters, sending out those letters. I didn't get any responses. I called to the company. I made friends with the ladies in the office. I sent them chocolates. I told them my story. Remember I was talking like you gotta be a good storyteller, right? I told them the story, right? I told them the vision. I told them about what we were doing to actually increase productivity and manufacturing. And anybody that would listen to me I would call and tell them that story and I kept coming back and I even asked advice. Like, how should I go about doing this? Like, how can I get work from your company? Do you have any advice for me? Because I'm incredibly determined. I will wake up at two in the morning. I will come down and bring parts to you. You will not find somebody more dedicated than myself and my team. And guess what? People loved it. The ladies in the office actually started giving me certain emails, you know, and I started working and maneuvering things. Instead of the letters, I started putting it in email form and nothing would come and nothing would come. And then one day, my wife and I walked into my office and I just saw the name of the company, boom. And I was like, I opened it up and it was print after print after print after print. They literally got tired of me just sending stuff. And when the right opportunity happened and everybody else was busy, they were like, well, give that person a shot. And I actually got an opportunity and quoted the jobs out. They were like, oh, his prices are crazy cheap. Like he must not know what he's doing. And then we machined the parts perfectly and sent them in and got another opportunity and another opportunity, right? And guess what? One of the top engineers from that company went to one of the other rocket companies and then called me up because they were having troubles with vendors. And then I ended up doing work for that company. And then another engineer went to a different company. I started working for that company. And you see how the web goes, right? 